If you've bought one of these wireless mics for an Android phone to fit the Type-C socket and you can't get it to work, there's a good chance that you need to change something in the settings and I'm going to show you how. It's OTG in settings, on the go, known as OTG. So I search for it in settings and then when I find it, it's in the additional settings on this phone. And there it is, and I've got to tick that. It goes green, and the mic now works. It seems to be with Oppo, Vivo, IQ, Realm. I think it's Chinese brands, Android brands, that uh, have this issue. Uh, with iPhone and stuff, these wireless mics usually work out of the box, but on these Android phones, you'll need to probably tick on the go which stays on for 10 minutes after use. If you've not used it for 10 minutes, it switches off. I'm not actually sure what else on the go is used for, but it works for this wireless mic anyway. So there's how you set up the wireless mic. You put the little connector in. It's not using Bluetooth. It's just a connector between the mic and that receive transmitter. And as long as on the goes on, you've got a good chance uh, it's going to solve your problem if you can't get it to work on an Android phone. And that's all I've got to say about it really. You can just keep watching, I'll repeat it, that again. Just to show you, to switch it on, to switch the mic on, it's behind the mic on the underside. And when the mic's connected it on, there's no green light or anything. There's no light on the mic. And there's a small red light on the transmitter when the two of them are connected. So if you've got on the goes switched on, it's off by default. If you switch that on, there's a good chance it's going to work on your Android phone if this is a problem. I'm using the mic now, I don't know about the sound quality, we'll find out later.